Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We're coming to you from the market site in Times Square, New York City. We're going to take a look at the space economy, an economy that analysts believe could be worth north of one trillion U.S. dollars by the year 2040. But first, let's take a history lesson. The American effort to send astronauts to the moon had its origins in an appeal from President John F. Kennedy made to a special joint session of Congress on May 25, 1961. President Kennedy said, I believe this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to Earth. Apollo 11 was the first manned mission to land on the moon. July 20th marks the 50th anniversary. The first steps by humans ever on a planetary body were taken by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin in 1969. It also returned to Earth with the first samples from another planetary body. As Armstrong took his first step, he famously said, that's one step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Flash forward to 2019. NASA says it will continue to need low Earth orbit for microgravity research and testing that will enable the success of the agency's plans to go forward to the moon and Mars, including landing the first woman and the next man on the moon. Providing expanded opportunities for commercial activities at the space station could help catalyze and expand markets, enabling a robust economy in space for many businesses. The agency's ultimate goal in low Earth orbit is to partner with industry to achieve a robust ecosystem in which NASA is one of many customers purchasing services and capabilities at a much lower cost than today. And the private sector agrees. According to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, a number of private sector forecasters predict the space economy will continue to grow dramatically. Goldman Sachs analysts predicted the sector would grow to about $1 trillion by 2040, consistent with the forecast by Morgan Stanley. On the high end, analysts at Bank of America Merrill Lynch predict the sector will surpass $3 trillion over the same period. In the U.S. Chamber of Commerce's estimation, the sector will increase from approximately $385 billion today to at least $1.5 trillion by 2040. These growth projections are incredible. Let's take a look at some of the companies NASA selected to complete studies about the commercialization of low Earth orbit and the International Space Station. Assessing the potential growth of a low Earth orbit economy and how to best stimulate private demand for commercial human spaceflight. These companies include Axiom Space, Amazon's Blue Origin, Deloitte Consulting, KBR Wild, McKinsey, Nanorack, Sierra Nevada, Space Adventures, and of course, there is SpaceX. Thank you for taking this journey with me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.